So I listened to uh, Brent Hansen, Unoffendable, and I'm uh, currently listening to Craig Grishel, uh, Winning the Battle of Your Mind. And the Lord's brought a lot of revolution, revelation and things of that nature to me over the course of the last few days. And um, so I'm listening to that book and I'm praying and I kind of got a thing that I sent it to one of my brothers. But uh, I felt encouraged to do this real quick. When we battle against strongholds, those things built up inside of us, they're not always easily ascertainable they're not always right in front of our eyes and visible they're usually hidden behind a jungle of thickets and dead vines and dead branches and things of that nature and we have to allow the holy spirit to teach us and to rightfully wield the word of god the sword of the spirit to cut that stuff away to get rid of those dead branches to get rid of those vines to cut that thicket back to expose those towers looming before us that darkness has been reigning in the shadows and hiding with deep within us that we may not have realized, thought about, or even considered to be a stronghold. And then and only then, once it's revealed, once it's exposed, can the power of the Holy Spirit destroy those things. Sending darkness and the rulers and principalities that have long remained hidden in the recesses and crevices of our minds and hearts. Be sent running by the light that has just exploded into those areas. Because those thickets, those dead branches, the thorny vines have all been cut away, have all been pruned and chopped down, revealing the lie, revealing the stronghold where the enemy has resided. All the while, we never even saw it, never thought about it, because we hadn't allowed it to be revealed. Let him reveal it. Let him cut it away. Let him destroy it. So there's that much less standing in the way of the Lord being rightfully enthroned in your life. And being the only stronghold within you. Because then you can reside all the days of your life. Abiding under the shadow of the wings of the Almighty. Making him your refuge and your fortress and your stronghold. The Lord and the Lord alone. It ain't easy. It hurts a little bit. But at the end of the day. It ain't about us anyways. True humility, being humble, is not even thinking or regarding yourself. It's taking and serving that person right in front of you, approaching that situation right in front of you. But the last thing being on your mind, how you're going to benefit. What does this mean for me? No, we got to operate out of love. What Jesus did for us, unselfishly, selflessly, it's what we need to do for others if we're going to truly represent the God we claim to serve.